Good morning and welcome back to another video and today we are going to be going over five secret slash forgotten farms that you may not have heard of. Now just stick around and enjoy the video. Okay, so today we're going to be going over five secret farms slash forgotten farms that you probably may not have heard of. And that being the case, these ones are going to be ones that are like going to be like rep farms and all that jazz. And it's just really weird and precarious ones as well in between the mix for this video. So other than that, let's just jump into number one, which is the Arakoa Feather Farm. Now this one is located within Terracar Forest, and this is where you'll be going over to this area on the map right now. It's basically the lower right hand side of Terracar Forest. What you are going to be wanting to do is killing all of the, basically, the Sethic Halls type of esque creatures and getting a hold of the Arakoa Feathers, which are the Arakoan. And what this actually entails is, this is actually a rep item. Um, it's actually used to be traded in to get a hold of some rep. And mainly this usually sells for quite a bit of gold overall, due to the fact that not a lot of people actually farm this and you can actually get quite a lot of mounts from this as well. So it's usually a good solid bet to actually get a hold of these different types of feathers in order to sell on the auction house. Subsequently, you will be getting a load of BC Transmog as well. Half of them will probably not be that good, but the other half will usually tend to be quite great if you're going to be doing an hour's worth of farming for this. So you get like the best of both worlds. Now, overall, these Arakoa feathers actually sell for a pretty penny on the auction house, and I do actually recommend doing this because even if you have a load of these, you can actually sell these for quite a lot of gold, and the sell rate for these is quite high considering it's an old world BC material which is used for the rep games. So overall what do I think of this farm? I think this farm is a really good farm and if you're at a loose end and you want to try something a bit new I would give this one a go and seeing how much gold you can actually get from this overall. I subsequently will be actually farming this up and posting a worth it string at some point in the future as well to see in which if it's any good for myself on my server. So it's something you may want to consider going forward. Now coming in at number two, and actually was a, something that was actually recommended to me through the Discord. Now this one was the Breath of Air Farm, and this is in Darkshore. Yeah, I know, Darkshore. Not many people go to Darkshore that much anymore. And yeah, the Breath of Air Farm is pretty damn good when it comes towards the Darkshore farm. What you're going to be wanting to do is killing these elementals on the map right now, and pretty much it's just a complete massacre. The better your AoE, the better you're going to be getting of this. Of course, it's an open world farm, so you can do this like pretty much quite up really quite fast, and you can get a lot of Breath of Air. Now, Breath of Air it tends to sell really, really well uh, on a very medium-esque way. I usually set, would probably base it along the same sell rate as um, how Whiptail sells, so if you're looking for a farm that can drive that, then I would go with that. But Breath of Air is used in a lot of different types of crafts in order to craft into old world stuff. And I highly recommend this due to the fact of the high gold per hour you can actually get from this. Now, I don't see a lot of people actually farming this up recently. And personally, yeah, it's it's a really solid farm. It's, uh, it's not an insane farm. It's not a crap farm. It's just a nice farm. So if you're really looking for just a a nice steady farm, just go ahead and go over there and try that one out. Other than that, let's move into number three, which is the Orb of Deception Feralus. Yes, I know, the Orb of Deception can also drop from the Molten Core, the Firelands, last bosses, so Nefarian and also Ragnaros. You can also get the Orb of Deception from the Heavy Silken Treasure Chests as well, from like the Blasted Lands, Tanaris, Ungura Crater, Silithus, blah blah blah. Basically, you can get it from a lot of different sources, but there is one area which I love, and that is Feralus. Now, I don't usually talk about this because this was my pride of joy quite a, low, a while ago when Orb of Deception was selling like super, super, super well for a high gold, and that is because you can go over to this rare elite on the map right now. What you can actually do here is actually camp this rare elite in Feralus, and it's actually a higher drop chance than the raid bosses within the Molten Core and Blackwing Lair. 
And what I tended to do back in the day was to log out and just camp this guy. So like every hour, just log on, see if he's up, kill him. And because there's not many people out in the old world anymore, he was near on always up when I logged in. So I had a chance to get in the orb of deception. Subsequently, I actually got the Orb of Deception quite a lot and it got netted me with a hell of a lot of gold. I do find this farm to be a bit of a good one, but overall it's something that you may want to camp, not actually farm because it is a rare elite and it's something that you just want to log every day or something along to that effect. Um, I actually do find this one to be quite good as he can still drop you green items which you can then sell on the auction house as transmog so even if you don't get the orb of deception it's something you can just test out and all that jazz so it's literally a two minute farm at like every hour and it's something you can do for a pretty high amount of gold if the orb of deception is worth it for you on your server for me i usually find this to be a very good one and is something if i want to do a little bit of like gambling, so to speak, because of the drop chance and all that jazz. So it's, um, yeah, it used to be one of my prides of joy because I kind of found it uh, through just searching a wowhead and all that jazz uh, back in the day, and I just kept doing it and kept getting the orb of deception. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna keep doing it. And uh, I didn't have the channel at that point. So I was like, I just won't tell anyone about it. It's mine. <laughs> So uh, now I am actually going to tell you guys about it because for various reasons I, I have the ability to tell you guys about it. So coming in at number four is the Sun Fury Signet Farm. Now this one is located within the Isle of Queldanas. This is, if you don't know where the Isle of Queldanas is, is at the top of the Eastern Kingdoms. What you're going to be wanting to do here is go outside the entrance of the Sunwell Plateau or to your right you will see a load of blood elves, to your left you will see a load of demons. What you're going to be wanting to do is kill the blood elves. Basically what you're going to be wanting to do is just completely run around in a circle just destroying all of these blood elves for an hour and gathering up all of these Sun Fury Signets and Arcane Tomes. These are rep items towards the Scryers and you can actually sell these for a pretty penny on the auction house. Overall, the Arcane Tomes sell for a hell of a lot more gold, but you'll be getting more Sun Fury Signets, which will net you in more gold for that. And it's a very good market in order to actually do market resets with, wink wink, nudge nudge, because they tend to fluctuate on how much gold they're actually worth overall, and you can then actually control that market as quite well because it's not really camped all that much for rep gains. Now a lot of people actually do this to, in order to get different types of things with the scryers and all that jazz and just fleshing out their reputations and getting different types of tabards and all that jazz. And it's a really good seller because they do sell really fast in the grand scheme of like rep items and it's well worth your time if you wanted to try something a little bit new and a little bit like old at the same time if you get my drift with that. So. I would highly actually recommend actually farming this up because they also have a chance to drop in some high-end transmog as well and it just pairs really nicely just doing that farm. Other than that guys, have an awesome rest of the day and I shall see you in the next video which will be tomorrow. If you want to support the channel and help make the channel even better, then why not check out the Patreon? Members get additional info, gold making resources and Patreon specific content. The link is located in the description down below. Thank you and have an awesome day.